wherever you go on this earth and whatever you go through, earth, wind, fire, your creator, your redeemer, your sustainer will be there with you. Fear not, for I am in your midst, helping and strengthening you. Marriage is a gift of God. Scripture commands that marriage be honored among all people and consecrates it as signifying the mysterious union between Christ and His bride, the church. The union of Boyd and Sam is intended for their lifelong companionship, help and comfort, which they will need of each other when times are good and when adverse. It is intended to be a sign of Christ's love to this sinful and broken world that unity may overcome estrangement, forgiveness, heal guilt, and joy conquer despair. Into this union, Boyd and Sam now come to be married. The fellowship, the love, the ecstasy, the friendship, the joy that your relationship promises is only the tip of the iceberg of what God promises us. And whatever pain or suffering or discouragement or alienation that you may experience in your marriage, since God has not promised us only sunny days, may these things be used by the Lord to make you long even more for the day when God will wipe away every tear, when He will do away with pain and suffering, and yes, even death itself. Sam, I know you, the good and the bad, the strong and the weak. I know your fears and your hopes, your driving motivations, your secret and glorious testimony. I know your demons all by name, and I know that you know mine. I've held you shuddering in pain. I've laughed with you until I've cried. I've uncovered the purpose for my existence hand in hand with you. And I know that your life's perspective is rooted in suffering and eternity, and that you are the least selfish human being I have ever met. Boyd, you are the most profound manifestation of God's love that I have ever received. His love has allowed you to love me truthfully, purely, and powerfully. His love has allowed you to love me not in spite of my weaknesses and burdens, but because of them. His love has allowed you to help bring me back to life and heal me in ways that I didn't even know were broken. His love has allowed you to look at me and see things that I didn't believe I was or could be. Through you, God has planted seeds of joy and hope and trust that have bloomed so brightly that I can barely fathom their beauty. You should know in front of all these people that I admire you to the stars and back for your depth and grace under pressure. They should know that this isn't my chemical speaking but rather my earnest and daily experience of discovering the exact person you are over the past two years. Now I understand you, Sam, the woman I'm prepared to live and die for better than anyone. I know that this understanding holds true on your end too, and that you trust me to honor what I found in you. I firmly believe that all of the pain and suffering I've gone through was worth it, because it led me to you and allowed me to love you in a way that would have been impossible without suffering. Boyd, you are my most precious gift, my greatest treasure, my most trusted companion. This journey of ours will be difficult, but the hardships and pain will be constant reminders of how important it is to hold tightly to God and to you. I don't just want the easy parts of marriage where being in love feels as simple as breathing. I want the parts of marriage where I have to fight for our relationship and to remember what's important, because nothing worth having comes easy. I'm not marrying you just because I enjoy being in love, which is wonderful, no doubt but I'm marrying you because you are the one person whom I trust with all things. I don't want an extraordinary life. I just want a life that I can share with you. I promise first to be honest. I'll tell you the truth about everything, petty and huge, because you deserve it and because I love you. I swear that your trust in me won't be unearned. I vow to put God first and you second, as that is the only way our marriage will remain steadfast and pure. I vow to find my worth, security, fulfillment, and identity in Christ alone for expecting them from you would be an impossible demand that would only lead to grief and discord. I'll try to be a warm and bright place for you to rest every day, a safe shoulder to laugh and cry on. I promise to be your friend, to invest my time in you more every day, to prioritize our relationship above all others. 
I'll make it my daily goal to grow closer and more comfortable with you in both large and small ways. And I promise along that line to be alive for you. I won't stagnate or take you and God and the world for granted. I'll try to live in such a way that reminds you how good we both have it and that there's always an excellent thing to do every day. I'll share with you every cool thing I find or figure out. I'll try to make your life as rich and vibrant as I can. I vow to sacrifice joyfully for you and to cherish your faith, your loyalty, your wit, your companionship, and your fierce determination to be better than the person you were yesterday. I vow to always have your best interest in mind and to tell you when your actions are causing harm to you or to those around you. That our life together will not always be easy, but don't be afraid of me flaking out when there's pain and anxiety. I won't. I swear to be there especially in the hard times. I promise that when you're afraid, suffering, tired, or sad, I'll be there to lift you up if I can, but if not, at least shoulder the burden with you. I vow to listen to you openly when you critique me and to not let pride blind me to my faults. I vow to never put comfort or convenience or vanity over our marriage and to hold honesty in the highest regard. I vow to always choose you, especially when it would be easier not to. You will not always be in love, but that's not the point of loving. I promise that I'll be your husband over all emotions. We'll get angry and annoyed, bored and unkind. We may each wonder if the other person's worth it. I swear to remember and remind you who we are. I promise to be safe and steady and loving, even if neither of us cares in the moment. I vow to always remember that I deserve nothing, and that everything I have, no matter how small or insignificant, is a gift from our Father, who loves me with a love that I do not deserve, and a love that I will strive to show you every day. I vow to always be your home, a place where you are loved honestly and supported unconditionally. I vow to faithfully walk through all circumstances with you as your God-given partner, knowing that our strength comes only from Him. And though I will fail to keep all these vows sometimes, I swear I'll learn and grow with you, moving in faith and hope of a better day with you every day. I promise that though I'll change, I'll only move closer to you and we together towards God. And lastly, I vow to never forget the immense and undeserved blessing it is from my Father that I get to live this life with you, already as your best friend, and now as your wife. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And with all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And with all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. With all that I am. And with all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I honor you. I honor you. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father. And of the Son. And of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. By your mutual faith in Jesus Christ and your committing to one another together before the Lord and before all of these witnesses by the authority that's been given to me as a minister of the Church of Jesus Christ, I declare Boyd and Sam are now husband and wife, whom therefore God hath joined. Let no one separate. Boyd, you may kiss your wife. I'll be there for you. I'll be there for you. You are the toughest person I know, and I am your biggest fan and admirer. I couldn't be more proud of who you are, not what you do, not what you've done, and not what you will do. I love you with all my heart, and I miss you deeply. Mom and I will always be here for you and Boyd, and never forget that. Speaking of Boyd, I've come to know a young man who is incredibly smart, extremely creative, a great writer, painter, artist, loves to play guitar and serenade us at all times of the day, loves to read, loves to have fun, and even though we kind of give him a hard time about everything's his new favorite, what I love is that just shows a heart of just really enjoying life. And we really appreciate that about him. The reason I love you dearly, can't wait to see what the future holds and we'll always be here for you too. The very first thing I heard about Sam was, Dad, I've met this girl. I really respect and admire her character. 
and he talked about the pain she's been through and how she's persevered and grown in that. That was the first thing I heard about her. And I think that's significant. From this day forward, you're like a daughter to me. And you're always going to have that for me. That's what I wanted to let you know. Boys, I love how your faith has grown so deep. I love your imagination and your intellect. What a great honor it's been to be your dad. And I love you. Boyd, your name means blonde warrior. And you came out blonde, so we knew you had picked the right name. And Sam, your name, Samantha Grace, means one who listens well to what is told by the Lord. And then Grace. So you have an open heart. I've seen that. Please raise your glass. They're incredible people, and I love them both very dearly. And I know you'll grow as you go. And I can't wait to see you guys work together. Love you both. I had just been born, and I remember the first thing you've ever said to me was that you're going to teach me how to sword fight. <laughs> you're like five years old. You like didn't know how to sword fight, but you just right away you felt so protective of me. It's just been the perfect sibling to me in my whole life. Sam, if you have like any idea how much Boyd likes you, I mean like just yesterday, I was just talking about a movie, and I just been like, wow, that movie's perfect. And there are a couple seconds of silence, and then Boyd just really, really quietly to himself, he said, Sam is perfect. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to finish saying how happy I am you guys got married. You guys are literally perfect for each other. Best one that I've got to see grow and flourish has been you and Sam. So, uh, well, I would say I wish you guys the best. Um, I know for sure too, and that's what you have. Thank you. It's forever when it seems I do. There's nothing more, nothing more. Forget everything you thought you knew before. There's nothing more, nothing more. So give it away, cause that's what love is for Dark. Nothing in this world can break its bond And love, it will make its mark It will leave no heart without its song There's nothing more, nothing more Forget everything you thought you knew before There's nothing more, nothing more So give it away cause that's what Nothing in this world can break its bond And love, it will make its mark It will leave no heart without its song There's nothing more, nothing more Forget everything you thought you knew before There's nothing more, nothing more So give it away cause that's what love